Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and the annual catalog went live yesterday, which I don't know why. I thought it was the 31st and then I was corrected to the 4th and then it was the 3rd, so I'm sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> and I'm so sorry about my voice. It's been since Friday. I was hoping it would be better by today, but I need another couple days. But I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, if I didn't say that before. And now all of these products you can purchase from Stampin' Up! at the link that's at the top of the screen or also below. Today I'm using the Bottled Happiness Stamp Set and the smaller jar. The punch that goes with it is for this bigger jar here. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with this stamp set, but I don't have it in my hands yet, so I'm not going to do the giveaway yet. Um, it's probably coming up at the end of the month. Alright, so I also used in this the layering rectangle stitch dies. And the paper is Hues of Happiness. And this is a obviously a rectangle box that measures four and a quarter by two and three quarters by one inch. And it opens this way. up that way and what can fit in here are two bottles of glue all right you can also fit some tea in here if you like or anything else that would fit in those dimensions um, so my host code for the new catalog is right here if you're going to spend under $150 put the host code in and then I can divvy up um, if I put them together, I can divvy up and get everyone a little something. If you're spending 150 or more, you want not to put the host code in because you need your to get that for your different rewards. Okay, so it's MSMYA3GB. All right. You need a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock that is 11 by 5 and 3 quarters. We need another piece of Bermuda Bay. That is two by three and three eighths. We need this stitched rectangle out of basic white, which is the third smallest of the big rectangles. From the Hues of Happiness designer series paper, we need one piece that is two and a half by four, two pieces that are three quarter by four, and two pieces that are two and a half by three quarter. Okay. Alright, so let's start with my card stock. I'm going to get my Simply Scored. And we're going to start on the 11 inch side. Okay, and we're going to score at one half, one and a half, five and three quarters, six and three quarters. And that's it. <clears throat> and then we're going to turn it to the five and three quarter inch side. And we're going to score at one half, one and a half, four and a quarter, and five and a quarter. And that's it. Okay, now I'm going to fold and burnish. So how we have this is the skinny rectangles are on the top, the bottom, and the right hand side. And this is what we want to do. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start over here on the left. And we're going to go into the second score line and cut it straight to the second score line. Okay. Go back one score line and cut it straight to the second score line. Okay, now we want to get rid of these two rectangles. Okay, and now we're going to get rid of this rectangle that's at the bottom here. 
and then we're going to wedge the square. Okay, so that's what we have so far. All right, we're going to leave these two rectangles alone, go to the next score line, and cut to the second score line. Go to the next score line and cut up to the second score line. We're going to get rid of these two pieces here. Cut off this bottom rectangle and wedge each side of the square. Okay, then we're going to turn it 180 and we're going to start over on the left. And we're going to go to the first score line and cut to the second score line. Get rid of these two pieces at the end. Go to the next score line and cut it straight to the second score line. Get rid of this bottom rectangle here. And wedge both sides of the square. Okay, I'm going to leave these two rectangles alone. Go to the next score line, cut up to the second score line, skip this square and rectangle, cut up to the second score line, get rid of this piece on the bottom, and wedge each side of the square. Okay, now we're going to cut off these two. Now we want to bring in a corner rounder and we're going to round these corners here on this thing, this, these extra pieces here and this. Okay, and this is what your cardstock should look like after you've done scoring, cutting and rounding the corners. All right, now we're going to put a piece of tear and tape next to the score line and next to the edge of all four tabs. Okay, I'm going to take them off with the, the backings off with the take your pick tool. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this score line here and match it up with the inner rectangle here. Okay. All right. Same thing with this score line, this rectangle. And then we'll do the other side. And then these sides and the bottom will all come in and keep this top nice and good so it won't go inside. Okay, now we're going to get our DSP and I'm going to put the one piece that is two and a half by four on the front. The two long pieces that are three quarter by four on the long sides and the two short ones that are two and a quarter by three quarter on the short sides. Okay, so our box is going to close just like this. So what I want you to do is take a small hole punch and make a hole right in the middle of the top, right at the start of the DSP. Okay, and then I'm going to take a piece of pool party sheer ribbon, and this one is about 22 inches. And I'm going to put it up through the hole from the back. And I'm going to pull the rest of it around, and we're going to tie a bow on the top here.
just going to trim. Okay, so now the box part is done. So let's bring in our other piece. This is a stitched rectangle that is about three and an eighth by one and three quarters. And we're going to stamp this bottle and this piece of greenery or flower. Okay, for the bottle, I'm going to be using Coastal Cabana ink. I'm going to try to get this as much to the bottom as I can. Good. And then for the flower, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. I'm going to put it in there slightly slanted. There we go. Okay, and you can see the difference when it's first stamped. <clears throat> and when it dries, it's much lighter. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this to a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock that is two by three and three eighths. I'm going to do that with liquid glue. Okay, and then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this in the four corners. Place it right over the ribbon. Okay, and then for the final touch, I'm going to use some adhesive backed hexagons and my take your pick tool. And I'm going to put a small one down over here. A medium one, medium one up there, and another medium one over here. And that's it. All the measurements are on my blog, which is linked below. My um, website is linked below also. And don't forget, when you order, to use this host code here. And then I, if it's under $150, and I will send you a little gift. Thank you for buying. All right, I will see you next time, hopefully with a much better voice. Bye.